All right. Okay, so today is all about the dtext command. So we're going to start as we always do. I'll click a new file here. And we're going to uh, open up our basic, basic template. There you go. Finally catch it on. I can't really see anything. Uh, well, we could turn off the other lights. Can we turn all the lights off for a little bit? Sorry. All right, a little better. Uh, OK, so. Um, as we are drawing things in CAD, quite often we will need to add text to that. So there's a number of different commands for adding text. Uh, the one that we're going to learn first is called dtext. And just as it sounds, you simply type in dtext. So uh, we've typed in the command, hit enter, and now at the bottom here we can see we are in our dtext command, and it's asking us. Say that? Only high text is uh, D, the letter D, T E X T. D text. So it should say D text, specify starting point of text, or, and we have two options here, justify and style. So we'll talk about those in a moment. Uh, but first, I'm just going to place where I want my text to go. So say it's uh, right up here, and I'm going to draw in my text layer so everyone can see it on the screen here. So we're going to uh, just click where we want our text to begin. And then now uh, we, we've clicked where we want to begin. And looking at our command bar here, we can see it's specifying the height. Uh, so we'll go, say, uh, 0 0.5 as the height. And then now it's asking us for a rotation. We will talk about that in a moment. But for now, we'll just leave that at 0. And now we can just type our text. Now, when, if you hit enter once, it'll start another line. So second go, second line. Or if you hit enter twice, it'll end the command. So enter once to start a new line of text. Enter twice to end the dtext command. And with dtext, each line is actually a separate object. So it doesn't actually move them both together. You can see I can move my first and second lines here separately. Now, quite often, uh, we need to center text. So say we need to center text in a box. So I'm going to have a box right here. Just drawing a random rectangle here. And I want to put my text right in the center. So the first thing we need to do is get some scaffolding in place so we know where our center is. So I'm just going to draw two lines going across. So now I have an intersection point right here that I can snap to. And I'm going to type D text again. So again, we just typed dtext. It's now specifying start point or, and you'll notice we have justify or style. I'm going to hit J for justify and hit enter. And now it's giving me a bunch of additional commands here. And for this class, the only ones we're really going to use here are these bottom ones. Uh, they're all two letter commands starting with uh, TL. Uh, so TL, the T stands for top. L stands for left. Then we have TC, which is top center. There you go. Top right. Middle. M is for middle. So middle left, middle center, middle right. And then B is for bottom. So bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. So if I want my text to be perfectly in the center, what option do you think I would select? Middle center. Exactly. So I'll go MC for middle center. And then I'm going to click in my center. And then. Uh, uh, specify my height, I'll just keep it at 0.5. And then our rotation, I'll keep it 0. And then I'll just put center text, hit enter twice. And then I can go through and delete my scaffolding lines. It's important. And now I have text that is perfectly in the center of this box. Can I say I want to edit this text? I decided ah, I don't really like that. I want it to be all capitalized. 
So to edit it, all you need to do is double click on it, and now it's selected. I'm gonna hit my caps lock, and this time um, do it in all caps. Hit enter to exit. So to edit text, you just double click, and that'll get us to our enter. Now, uh, I'm going to open up the assignment for today to show you one more item. So here's today's assignment, and you'll see I have some rotated text here. And what I do is I tell you what you need to punch in. So for example, here this says yellow. This is J for justified, middle right. And then I have a rotation of 270. So we can see how the text is rotated here. How do you rotate? So I'll show you that. So say I want text to come up right from the middle point here and be centered and rotated. So I'm going to run my dtext command again. I'm going to hit justify. So J for justify. And then in the assignment, I told you it was middle. No, it wasn't middle center. What was it? Uh, probably. Uh, middle right, MR. So I'm going to go middle right. And then I'm going to find my midpoint. So that'll look like a triangle. So I found it right there. There's my triangle. So we'll click on that. And then uh, for text size. Going back to today's assignment, uh, I tell you that all text is 0.25. So our height will be 0.25. And then now we get to our rotation. And I told you R for rotation was 270. So it's 270 degrees. So it'll flip it around. And now we write our text. And as you type it, it will put it straight. But then once we end the command, then I'll rotate it. So hit Enter twice. And there's our text perfectly rotated. I'll get this out of the way here.